Jerry is the president of the National Council of La Raza. She attacked me last week for, in her words, handing hate a microphone and for driving the debate on illegal immigration in such a way that demonizes the Hispanic community. She's also criticizing the presidential candidates for their newfound focus on illegal immigration. We uh, call Janet Merguia, and we're told that, uh, at least I found out today, that before we could ask you, your PR director uh, asked us for you to be here, and we're delighted you are. Janet Merguia joins us now. Okay, you and I have talked over the years, many times, about illegal immigration. You accuse me of being basically a hate monger. And the reality is, I'm not. And you know that. Well, so let's get to okay. what in the world are you doing with this organization? Well, I think the key fact is that we can document now a Please wave do. of hate and different ways let's in which really, that no, uh, I want to be specific. different ways in which the hate You're is manifested. I guess. You're talking about me. Let me let me just make my case. Sure. Uh, we're talking about a wave of hate and the way that that hate is manifested in different representatives that you have on the show. We've got okay. self-avowed vigilante uh, representatives. This is Chris Simcox. He's been on your show five the times on CNN, founder of the Minutemen Minute Project. And mm -hmm. uh, according to the SPLC, Southern Poverty uh, Alicia There's nothing Cox, more than a fundraising and That's activist. your opinion. That's Let me just right, get this stuff. Simcox was convicted in 2003 of carrying a weapon into National Park where, mm -hmm. while searching for undocumented immigrants. That same year, he was quoted in the Orange County newspaper saying, mm -hmm. so far we've had restraint, but I'm afraid that restraint wearing then take heed of our weapons because we're going to defend our borders by any means necessary. He's a self-avowed vigilante. Is he, in the, is he in charge of the Minutemen? Yes, he's the founder no, of the civil no. No, of the Minutemen he's Project. He's no longer associated with the Minutemen. He is associated and is no. a spokesperson and was a spokesperson and all Jim these Gilchrist? times. Jim Kilchrist, co-founder of the Minutemen mm -hmm. Project, self-avowed vigilante, and he's been on your show eight times and on CNN uh, 27 times. Mm -hmm. You've said you proudly proudly support these projects that they're fine Americans and who make up all of the Can we see what she's Sure, I'm sorry. You say that you support the Minutemen mm -hmm. Project and that they're fine Americans who make it up who make it up in all they've accomplished fully, relentlessly and proudly. Right. So I want to make sure you understand. These are folks who are documented to be part of hate groups. Who documented them? Southern Poverty Leadership uh, Southern Conference Poverty Law Center. and the American Defamation League, right. ADL. Both of whom are absolute advocate groups for open borders and amnesty for illegal aliens. Do you have no, it's not my Yes, opinion. it is your opinion. No, it's, we it's have a, a website that documents right. not just these individuals, right. but others who are tied to hate groups or vigilante what did groups. President Bush and call we've them? seen what them on the air relentlessly you uh, never, representing uh, a point of view on immigration. It's like having David Duke on a panel to talk about affirmative action. It's unaccepted. It's unaccepted. It's unacceptable. And we don't want to talk about that anymore. We're taking a case to the network heads and we're asking them to hold uh, oh. the networks accountable. We want to Hold. You want me fired, don't no, you? No, I'm saying don't that. Don't you want me fired? No, I want to hold you accountable for how you well, use your microphone every night. Who, and do, we can't, who am I to be accountable to? You? No, you're accountable to the am broader. Am I accountable to my audience? You're accountable to the broader public and making sure that we're bringing actual information. Okay, let's talk about some facts. To, the, to the people. I want you to give your chart. Sure. Now, I want to point one thing, if sure. I may, while mm -hmm. you're on this. The statement about the Minutemen came after President Bush had called the Minutemen vigilantes. That's right. The fact is that the Minutemen, please, mm -hmm. this is your opportunity. Okay. The Minutemen have never, ever been charged with an act of violence. Chris Simcox was arrested and convicted. Oh, was he a member of the Minutemen when that occurred? Yes, it was in 2003, and he was, was he? founder of the Minutemen and Project. And he was doing what? He was convicted, arrested and convicted of mm -hmm. carrying a gun into a national park searching for undocumented immigrants. Mm -hmm. All this is documented on so our you website. Would, so you would cast the entire organization of the Minutemen? I'm casting him. I'm holding accountable for putting him on the oh. airwaves and saying that he's an expert on immigration reform. That's ridiculous. He's not an expert on immigration reform. Did we say he was reform. an expert or did we say that he was you, one of the founders of the Minutemen? I think you count, you, you couch this, you give them this okay, aura ahead, of respectability. Please. You also cited in 2006 uh, a source of your, uh, you know, branding at CNN and Lou Dobbs around the Council of Conservative Citizens, which also the SPLC has named as a white nationalist hate group. This is a group that denigrates routinely blacks as genetically inferior, complained about, okay. you know, Jewish power and uh, okay. also uh, denigrated homosexuals as perverted sodomites. All I'm saying is you're co-branding yourself and your, uh, right. CNN with a white supremacist nationalist hate group. And 
You, this is we really? this was on your program on the twenty third two thousand six. It doesn't matter how long. Of course it, does. it doesn't. Of you are using does. hate speech, hate groups. Jack, uh, yeah. Make a case on immigration. Out. Make a case on Do immigration. You want the answer? Sure. Do you want to know how long it was on the air? It doesn't matter. Seconds. You have just given them more airtime than this network, this broadcast, ever did. And I'm holding you accountable uh, for having given any sort of exposure you and the fact that you're so associating you, so yourself you should be, with this extremist. I associated myself? You cite them as a fact I did, on this. Did I? This says Dobbs, uh, Lou Dobbs right. Tonight, CNN. Right. That's there for everyone to see. Right. This is from show on May 23, right. 2006. This kind of hate speech, this kind what of... What year? 2006. Right. That's, have you got anything a little more recent? We've, we've got our there. whole website that, that okay, documents wanna, all of this. Let's go to this. your website, and, okay? Yeah, sure. Let's go through Yes, this. because we've made a case. I want we want to put... make sure that you need to know, just make one point. Mm -hmm. Hate speech has consequences. We've seen the rise in hate crimes in the same time that these types of comments mm -hmm. and people were on your show and on other CNN so shows, Fox, MSNBC, we're holding right. all three networks. We saw a rise in hate crimes against Hispanics well, raised by 23% and twice okay. that in California. Hate speech Janet, has okay. consequences. Is it my term? You've now been talking for over four minutes. Uh, you have the mic every night. For, so you're taking for away every, tonight? I'm just saying, so I want to make like my the, case. Okay. And I appreciate would you. Would you like me coming. to, so what would you like me to do? I'll tell you what, we'll give you some more time, and then I'll respond to you tomorrow evening. Okay. Have a. Well, I appreciate that. I just want to make sure you know, for us, it's intolerable and tenable. For the... And Who's us? The National Council also, we represent a civil rights and advocacy organization You're a civil for rights 40 and, years. Uh, you're a socio-ethnocentric organization with a specific interest in driving illegal immigration and you know it. 